In this video, I'll show you how to expand an expression using the binomial theorem. This is part one. Question one reads, use the binomial theorem to expand bracket a plus b to the power of five. I wanna start off by analyzing the binomial theorem formula. Notice that the formula has an a, b, and n term. So the first thing that I wanna do for question one is define my a, b, and n. My a is the first term within the binomial, which is a. My b is the b term and my n term will be five. So I'll say n is equal to five. Now prepare to have a very long expression, so make sure that you have enough space. Now that I've created more room, I'll start off by applying my a, b, and n to this ongoing formula. Let's start off with the first term. We have a to the power of n, so we have a to the power of five. Our next term is defined by this expression, where we have five, and to conserve space, every following term can be written below the previous one. So we have five times a, five minus one, which represents this part, times b. Plus, now we're on to this term. We have five times five minus one over two factorial. Two factorial means two times one. If you had three factorial, which is in the next term, you have three times two times one. So we multiply this expression by a five minus two b to the power of two. I'll continue over here. For my next term, I have five times five minus one times five minus two over three factorial times a to the power of five minus three b to the power of three plus my next term, which is not written, but I can improvise based on what I've seen so far. Five times five minus one times five minus two times five minus three, four factorial. Multiply two, a to the power of five minus four, b to the power of four. Now notice that I've not simplified any of these terms. I will simplify in the next step. And for our last term, since we are reaching five minus five, we don't need to go through this whole thing because it will end up becoming one. All we have to do for the last term is write down b, our b term to the power of five. Now I will simplify wherever I can. Starting with our very first term, we had a to the power of five, that remains the way it is. And then we had five times a to the power of four b. So I write down plus, 5a to the power of 4b. To simplify this, 5 times 4 divided by 2 factorial, 5 times 4 is 20, divided by 2 is 10. So plus 10a to the power of 3b to the power of 2. Our next term was this one. We have 5 times 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 5 is 60. 60 divided by three factorial, three times two times one is six. So 60 divided by six is 10. To simplify this part, we have a to the power of two, b to the power of three. Our next term is five times four times three times two. Let's use our calculator. Five times four times three times two. That gives us 120 divided by four factorial, which is four times three times two times one and we end up with five, plus five, and this part simplifies to a, b to the power of four, and finally, our last term was b to the power of five, plus b to the power of five. In question two, we're expected to use the binomial theorem to expand the following expression. This time, our a and our b need to be defined. Our a will be one over x, and our b will be one over y to the power of two, n is equal to three. We have one, two, three, four, five, six terms that we ended up with in question one. And remember that our n was five. So the amount of terms you should end up with in question two should be one more than your n value, which is four, so expect that. Once again, we'll start off with the first term, and for simplicity's sake, I've reapplied the binomial theorem here. a to the power of n, one over x to the power of three, that's your first term, 
plus n 3 times a to the power of n minus 1. Remember, your a was 1 over x to the power of n minus 1, which is 2. Just write it as 3 minus 1 for now, times b, 1 over y squared, plus n, which is 3 times 3 minus 1, over 2 factorial, times our a value of 1 over x to the power of n minus 2. 3 minus 2 is written right there, times our b, which is 1 over y squared to the power of 2. Now remember, we know that we should end up with four terms at the end. And I know that if I go one more time, I'll end up with 3 minus 3. That will end up giving me a value of 1 here and a value of 1 over here as well. So I'll end up with 1 times 1 times my b term. So my final term will simply be 1 over y to the power of 2, my b term, to the power of 3. Let's simplify this now. We have 1 over x to the power of 3. I've distributed this power of 3 to the numerator and the denominator. Here we have 3 times 1 over x to the power of 2. So this x gets a power of 2. No need to put it for the 1 times 1 over y squared. Now you can further multiply this all out. And in fact, I'll show you what happens if you do that. You should end up with, and I'll put this double arrow here, 3 over x to the power of 2, y to the power of 2. You can write it out like that. It's the same thing. Our next term simplifies to, we have 3 times 2, which is 6, divided by 2 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 1. So that's 1 over x, and this becomes 1 over y to the power of 4. You can rewrite this, if you combine it, to 3 over, I've created a little bit more room, x, y to the power of 4. And finally, our last term, which is plus 1 over y to the power of 2 to the power of 3, that ends up being 1 over y to the power of 6. This expression right here represents this expression all expanded. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to expand an expression using the binomial theorem. Make sure to watch part two for a more complicated example.